Hey guys, it's Simply Obsessed. Welcome to my channel and welcome to an out of this world room build. Hey guys, it's Simply Obsessed and welcome to my channel and welcome to my first ever alien build. So today I have something that I'm super duper excited about. Today's build is an alien nursery. This is something that I've never done before in my entire nine year history of playing The Sims. I've never really played with aliens before in The Sims 3 and I never uh, really played with aliens in The Sims 4. But I wanted to do something different and uh, before I built this nursery, I built my first ever nursery it's a uh, baby blue themed nursery and once I finished it I was like oh that was fun I want to do another nursery but what could I do that's something totally unique and I've never really done before and that's how I got the idea for this whole alien nursery super proud of it I'm just super excited about it I think I, I did a really good job I want to toot my own horn a little bit I've never done anything like this before and I'm just pretty proud of what I created this uh, nursery is available in the sims 4 gallery you can search for it using hashtag simply obsessed or hashtag simply obsessed to eight and you can add it to your gameplay just make sure that you enable move objects on and that you enable the show hidden objects uh, debug cheat so that way you can have everything that's included in this nursery in your gameplay um, something that I did with this nursery that I well there's two things that I did with this nursery that I've never really done before. I created a makeshift changing table. You can see under the mirror that I placed two counters and then I added an uh, ottoman and I just used move objects on to push it inside to make it look like a nursery. Another thing that I've done, not a nursery, to make it look like a changing table. Another thing that I did with this build that I had never done before was use some of the lighting options that are available in um, and uh, that are available with the show hidden objects by debug cheat. So I use lighting that came with Jungle Adventure. It's like a green tent type of lighting. I use that in this nursery because I wanted the room to have a funky color. So I chose green. So the squares in the circle that you see on the ceiling, those are the um, lighting options that I selected from um, the hidden objects selection. And when you place this lot, you won't be able to see them. It's just there for you to see those lines and circles are just there for you to see the placement in build by mode but just know that when you place this uh, room and you add it to your gameplay those circles won't be visible it's just a really cool way for you to see the lighting as you place it um, I had so much fun with this you guys this is something that I've never done before and I was just super excited about sharing it with you all I had created a nursery before this one I was going to upload it but then I decided to do this one and I was like well that other nursery can wait um, but yeah I'm super excited about this I've never done anything like this before I'm pretty proud of it um, I have a couple regrets though when it comes to this build there are I think two regrets that I have the main regret that I have is not adding um, any toys in this room so there's a robot toy that you can add there's um, like a funky little monster that you can add and I just didn't do it I had I think you'll see a little later I got I um, I scaled them up in size and I placed them in the corner and as I was editing this footage I realized that it didn't look as bad as I thought I thought it was going to be too cluttered so I decided to get rid of the um, the toys in the corner but I regret that I think that that would have been a nice touch really to really bring this room together but at the time of um, at the time that I was building this room I wanted it to be sleek and clean and clear of clutter so I got rid of the toys that's something that I um, regret another regret that I have for this build is not using the security camera that's available as a hidden object I believe I had the whole idea of 
this alien nursery having a nanny cam but since it's an alien nursery it would have like a security camera I don't know why I decided against it but um, as I was going over the footage I just realized that it wasn't a bad idea and I should have left it there I kind of regret not using it but um, at the end of the day I'm pretty proud of this alien nursery yeah, I, I think I, I think I did a good job. I want to toot my horn. I don't usually do this. Like, I want to toot my horn a little bit and um, say that I'm pretty proud of this build. I can't wait to do more of these. This is going to be something that I try again, like a whole alien themed build. I want to try this again because um, I've never done this before and I want to try new things and explore new, um, new ways to build in The Sims. I'm trying to improve my building skills. So uh, using items that I never used before and doing themes that I've never used before like exploring things exploring themes that I never used before um, is something that I'm going to do more often um, here I'm adding some lighting to the floors uh, for this build I used a lot of items from spa day the items in spa day like the mirrors and the floor lighting that you see they're just so perfect and um, I just love them they had a whole new a whole new element to this build I love the lighting that comes from the mirrors and the strips of lighting that surrounds the rug that's under the uh, bassinet. Those spa day items are pretty cool when you're trying to create a futuristic type of build. And uh, I think we're going to be heading into some screenshots pretty soon. Uh, I add a couple more things. I add some funky lighting. I add some items that came from, I want to say, get to work. Um, some things that you can create in the scientist career. So I'm just tossing a couple things at this point in the build. And I think we're going to make our way over to some screenshots pretty soon. But before I go, I do want to let you guys know once again that this room is available in the Sims 4 Gallery. Just search for it using hashtag Simply Obsessed or hashtag Simply Obsessed to and it's called the out of this world nursery and uh, before I go I also want to say that if you enjoyed this build this build if you enjoyed this build please give it a big old thumbs up share it with your friends if you think they might like it as well and if you're new here tap that subscribe button and the bell to receive upload notifications and I hope that you guys have a really awesome day no matter who you are or where you are and I will talk to you guys in my next video bye guys